Have a look at this. I think I found a vertebra. See, there's the one side of it. And just, just peeking out there is the other side. There might even be some more over there. Or well, that might be the process of this vertebra. That's cool. That's probably a plesiosaur vertebra. And a big one, too. <laughs> awesome. Here's what I suspect is a, a plesiosaur vertebra or a elasmosaur. You can see there's a bit of bone sticking out there and there, so I think that's the, the width of the vertebra. And then here's one of the, the processes coming out, a circular process over there. So there should be one process there, one up top there, and one on the side. Let's go see if we can prep it out. It's quite a bit of rock to remove up here.
with the way this came out. You might be wondering why have I left the, the rock on the side here and the top here of the processors and that's just for extra strength. You can see there's a crack going all the way through here uh, through this process and I've had to glue it back together well to stop it from um, fracturing further and it, it carries on through this side. So I've put a lot of glue in there but you know without this rock on this side this would be quite a fragile bone. And what I like to do with my fossils, I like to pass them around, let people touch them, have a look at them. And I don't want to have to worry that, you know, a process is going to snap off. That's why I leave quite a bit of rock on the top here. Also, just, I think from a scientific point of view, it's good to leave, you know, the rock on the fossil to some extent. Because you can tell a lot from the location based on the rock on there. What I didn't show in the video is the, the 20 acid baths this thing went through. So it went through 20 cycles of vinegar, uh, an hour in the vinegar and then 12 hours in fresh water, uh, replacing the water every three hours. So just, just to make sure that all the acid uh, comes out of the bone before I put the B72 on. So between each cycle I also cover the bone in B72. You can see there's still you know a few shiny bits where I need to just remove the excess B72. That's just to protect the bone from any acid. At the bottom here, you can see there's a hole over there, and it looks to be a hole over there, and I think they think that's for extra blood supply. I don't think that's feeding damage. It would be really cool if that was feeding damage, but yeah, I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be there, those two. I thought I saw another little hole somewhere. I think there might be one over there, but yeah, it's so small, I think. Those are the two holes I can see. It's not feeding damage, I think that's just <laughs> what a elasmosaur vertebra looks like. Elasmosaurs are a type of plesiosaur, the long-necked plesiosaurs as far as I know. But <laughs> don't quote me on that. Yeah, this turned out so beautifully. Well, that was a long prep process, so this is about three weeks of work. Um, you know, a couple of hours every evening of air scribe work, then putting it in acid for an hour and then in water overnight uh, to get the acid out of it so it doesn't keep on working on it. But the results are amazing. You know, the, the detail you can see in this, this fossil is just incredible. It's so cool. This has got me very excited for some of the other fossils I've got which I haven't worked on yet because I, I didn't quite know how to work with the, the acid. So um, that's just normal vinegar. Uh, I buy it in bulk and then, you know, make up big containers of it. And yeah, that's really cool. Very happy with that. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this prep. It was a little bit different to the other ones, uh, but I really enjoyed it. This was so much fun to do. If you've got any questions, uh, get in touch. I'll try and answer them. Stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next hunt or prep.